Okay, Jim, so could you tell us the uh, status of your system right now and uh, what's going on as far as restoration? Well, we've been working at it constantly ever since the storm. And we've got about 30% of the network recovered. Uh, there is some sporadic outages that uh, still come and go. But uh, the weather's not necessarily helping the efforts right now, but we're continuing to work through it. The south has sustained more su substantial uh, longer term damage that's uh, going to take us longer to resolve in the long term. But uh, team's been working hard and I really want to thank them for putting their personal challenges aside and coming in and hitting it hard for the residents of Guam. You're also making a lot of concessions for customers that may be experiencing you know, some hardships of their own. So talk about like what you guys are doing to help out people that need communications. Right, we've, we've taken any caps off of tethering for people to share their, their phones uh, because of outages they may have at, at home or elsewhere. Uh, we've also uh, continued for prepaid users to just get uh, ongoing service. We understand people have got a hard time paying or getting in and buying capacity, so we're providing that. We've also opened up like capacity to Micronesia Mall because there's a lot of people in there who've been charging your phones and just using service in there. And we've, uh, we've waived all the payment requirements till the end of uh, the month. Now, the other perspective is, you know, uncommon problems from an engineering standpoint require uncommon solutions. And, you know, we've seen your team around here in the time that we've been here, like you said, really, really hustling, coming up with mm -hmm. like some uh, some really interesting ideas to get you guys like back online. How satisfied have you been with how the team's pulled together? Oh, the team's been hey. great. It's been a lot of hey. challenges, but it's really, again, the weather's not, uh, not helping. Uh, and again, particularly if there's lightning, I mean, we can't be up in the towers doing work on, uh, during lightning, but uh, we're gonna continue on any way we can and come up with as many creative solutions to get some service back as quickly as possible. It might not be the fastest speeds you've ever seen. Uh, we're gonna keep working on that, but we're trying to get just basic voice service up and then faster data speeds uh, across the island. Mm -hmm. And maybe just uh, one message to all of your customers right now who have, you know, uh, you know, reached out to you and asked for, you know, like uh, what's going on or anything like that, you know, a message. Right. To yeah. I, I mean, one, we appreciate your patience. We appreciate your business. We understand how important restoring communications is, both for our customer base, but also the first responders. We're working with Gov Guam very closely, FEMA, uh, and all the first responders. And I really want to thank our IT and E team, but also the, the companies that have helped us in our efforts, like IP&E has helped us keep our generators going, keep things fueled. Companies like Nissan and Nissan Car Rental has helped us uh, provide vehicles. Guam Plaza has put up uh, our staff that we've flown in from Saipan. And just small people like KFC has kept us fed. Uh, you know, so there's been a lot of support and a lot of help and a lot of cooperation that really shows the spirit of Guam. Absolutely. Okay, Jim, final question. You've been doing this kind of work a long time, and you've seen like yeah. a lot of different things in a lot of different markets. Where does this rank as far as you know, like is, unique problems? The, I, I was in Baghdad after the war. This is right under that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so th this is about as uh, significant as you get as far as, far as island-wide devastation island-wide power outages. I see the GPA guys out there. I know the headaches they've got. Uh, they're doing the best they can. Stabilizing power really helps all of our activities. Mm -hmm. And just at a personal level, I want to thank the police out there just directing traffic and the military in this uh, inclement weather mm -hmm. that we're working through. So uh, it really makes me proud to be here on Guam. Absolutely. So good man. All right, thank, thank you. you very much. And the entire community appreciates your hustle and uh, this time. We're doing the best we can. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you.